The full moon in Capricorn occurs on July 3rd in 2023. The July full moon is also known as the buck full moon. It was named after the new antlers that emerge from a buck's forehead around this time of year. The full moon is a time of culmination and the promise of fulfillment of that which was started at the new moon. This full moon is in detriment in the earth sign of Capricorn, which is not a happy placement for the moon. The influence of Capricorn tends to make the moon worry about emotional responses and be afraid of expressing them. So the moon in Capricorn may be more restrained and structured than in other signs. The sun in the water sign of Cancer needs to form emotional connections with others and is motivated by the need to create this connection. However, this is difficult for the sun because it wants to be self-reliant, while cancer needs the support of others. So the sun in cancer deals with your individual identity and how to find it given the emotional needs of cancer. To better understand this full moon, you need to recognize that the Cancer Capricorn axis concerns the balance between your private home life represented by cancer versus your public life represented by Capricorn. In other words, it deals with balancing your private emotional needs and your public responsibilities. This full moon occurs at 11 degrees, 19 minutes of Capricorn, most significantly affecting people with personal planets and points located at approximately seven to 15 degrees of the cardinal signs Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. The full moon is positively aspected by the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is considered the greater benefic and is the luckiest planet in the heavens. Jupiter in Taurus is trying the moon in Capricorn and sextile the sun in Cancer. Taurus energy is practical, stubborn, sensual, materialistic, reliable, and patient. Earth signs represent substance and physical form. Taurus is a fixed sign which sustains the cycle. Jupiter in Taurus tends to ground the spirituality of Jupiter and focus on the issues of material abundance. Taurus is one of the most sensual of the signs and enjoys the good life. With Jupiter in this grounded earth sign, the focus will be more on the physical and less on the spiritual. The moon trying Jupiter and the sun sextile Jupiter will be a positive experience, albeit a brief one. You will enjoy socializing with friends and feel warm and comfortable around them. A nice beginning for those celebrating the July 4th holiday the next day. The sun in the water sign of cancer struggles because the sun wants to be self-reliant while cancer likes emotional support. Intellectual mercury struggles to communicate clearly through an emotional water sign of cancer. With the conjunction of the sun and mercury, you will likely deal with communications of a more emotional nature something that neither the Sun nor Mercury are very comfortable with. Saturn in the water sign of Pisces is trying the Sun and Mercury in Cancer. Saturn is fundamentally about responsibility, restrictions, boundaries, and structures. Pisces is a mutable water sign and operates in the realm of emotions and feelings. Saturn in Pisces struggles with boundaries and looks for that point of balance between enough structure to provide support and flexible enough to be compassionate and caring. Saturn in Pisces tries to bring form to the formless. In this full moon chart, the Sun and Mercury are trying Saturn. Both planets will be positively assisted by Saturn. What you are and what you do will be more aligned. 
Saturn will sharpen your mental abilities. You'll be able to keep your focus. The Sun, Mercury, and Saturn should work well together, especially when participating in highly charged emotional discussions. The positive aspects with Mercury and Saturn suggest solid practical ideas associated with flashes of brilliant insights. Neptune is in the water sign of Pisces. Neptune in Pisces is very psychic and intuitive. It helps you understand things, including yourself, on a deeper level. Neptune is the modern ruler of Pisces, so it is well placed in that sign. Neptune is the planet of illusion and delusion. Slow moving, nebulous, and utterly mystifying, Neptune will continue transiting through all encompassing Pisces until 2025. Neptune just stationed retrograde on June 30th. Neptune in retrograde will reveal matters to you that you never expected to know about. So prepare yourself for the unexpected. Pluto is in the Earth sign of Capricorn. At a high level, the planetary energies of Pluto are about transformation, regeneration, and rebirth. Pluto asks you to transcend that which you know, redeem yourself in the process, and come out stronger as a result. With Pluto in Capricorn, your focus is on understanding your personal responsibility in the equation. The transit of Neptune in Pisces, sextile Pluto in Capricorn, gives you the opportunity to make a new start at a new level of understanding. Venus is the planet of love, beauty, and harmony. The energy of Venus in the fire sign of Leo can be warm, loving, and charismatic. However, Venus in Leo also needs to feel appreciated to be happy. Mars is the planet of motivation and action and Mars in the sign of Leo seeks pleasure in all its activities. The conjunction of Venus and Mars in Leo arouses strong attraction and desire for the opposite sex. It can be a transit full of passion. Even if you are involved in a close relationship, you'll enjoy the company of others, or you may express this energy through creative artistry. The only major negative aspect in this chart is the square of Uranus with Venus and Mars. The planet of Uranus in the Earth sign of Taurus brings steady methodical change. The planet Venus rules the sign of Taurus, so the impact of the square with Uranus may not be very significant. The square of Uranus with Mars can lead to impulsive, reckless behaviors. During this transit, Take caution not to let these behaviors cause issues for you. In summary, the full moon this month occurs on July 3rd. It deals with balancing your private emotional needs and your public responsibilities. With Jupiter's positive aspects, you will enjoy socializing with friends and feel warm and comfortable around them. A nice beginning for those celebrating the July 4th holiday the next day. With the brief conjunction of the Sun and Mercury, you will likely deal with communications of a more emotional nature. Saturn's influence will provide solid practical ideas associated with flashes of brilliant insights. The transit of Neptune's sextile Pluto gives you the opportunity to make a new start at a new level of understanding. The conjunction of Venus and Mars in Leo can be a transit full of passion or you may express this energy through creative artistry. Uranus is the only challenging aspect, but the influence of Venus should minimize issues. Just don't let the impulsive behaviors of Mars cause problems. Overall, with so many positive aspects occurring, this transit should be a fairly pleasant period. Thank you for watching. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and click the notify bell icon so you'll know when new videos come out. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the thumbs up icon.